What's up guys, today I'm going to do a guide video on the best leveling spec for each class, you know the best talents to choose. Um, I'm going to be covering every single class in this video. This is mainly for people that are new to Burning Crusade and they don't know what the best leveling spec and talents are for leveling, so I'm going to give you guys a little video on the for each class. So I'm, I'm going to be going alphabetically order, so we're going to start off with Druid. I'll have timestamps down in the description. So first off, Druid, without a doubt. Feral is the best way to go. I wouldn't go balance or resto because you'll be buying a lot of water, wasting your money. You'll be going um a lot. It's not efficient, guys. Don't do it. Just go feral. Um, you can go a different, you know, spec at level 70. At level 10, I'd go fur. Gives you a 100% chance to gain 10 rage when you shapeshift. This is really important, guys. Or 40 energy when you shapeshift into a cat form. This is really important. Get that straight off the bat, 10 to 15. Because you don't get your cat form to level 20, so it's best to get these straight off the bat so when you hit level 20 you'll have that. Natural shapeshifter reduces the mana cost of all shapeshifting by 30%. After you kill a mob in cat form you're going to be flowing a rejuvenation on yourself most likely to heal yourself and then going back into cat form. So this is just basically saving your time to be more mana efficient so you have to drink. Omen of clarity another important talent imbues the druid with natural energy. Each of the druid's melee attacks have a chance of causing the caster to enter a clear casting state. The clear casting state reduces mana, rage, or energy. Again, very good to have. And then after that, you're going to be going into the feral talent tree and just basically getting the talents you see here. I wouldn't really get brutal impact because that's only for PvP. You're not going to be PvPing a lot. Unless you really want it, this will come in handy. But this is the recommended talents for leveling. Make sure you get ferocity, reduces the energy cost. Feral Instinct increases threat cause in bear and dire form, but it also reduces the chance that enemies have to attack you while prowling. Very good. Heart of the Wild, very good. Increases your intellect by 20%. Just basically get all the talents you see here after getting these talents. Um, and this should help you out while leveling. Guys, so for Hunter, Beast Mastery is definitely the best leveling spec, but you will also put some points into Marksmanship. So when you hit level 10, I'd get lethal shots first, get that into level 15, and just finish up all these talents and marksmen. And then you're going to go to Beast Mastery. Um, Beast Mastery is really good to get intimidation. You know, let's say a rogue opens up on you, he cheap shots you, just get your pet, cast intimidation on it, the rogue is stunned, run away, concussive shot, the rogue's dead. Alright, Spirit Bond. It's really good. Bestial Discipline. Bestial Wrath. This is extremely good. Let's say you need to kill a boss for a quest. It's an elite. Bestial Wrath. Send your pet into a rage causing 50% additional damage. Just have your pet tank that mob. Med pet on it. You know, heal your pet. And you can solo pretty much anything in the entire game as Hunter as Beast Mastery. Beast Mastery is definitely the best leveling spec. Just have your pet fight for you, tank mobs. It's so easy, guys. Hunter is probably the easiest class to level in. Burning Crusade, and definitely one of the funnest. I really enjoyed it when I leveled my Hunter. So yeah, guys, just get the talents you see on screen. Make sure you get Thick Hide. Um, increases the armor rating of your pets by 20%, so it can become a better tank and tank mobs better for you. Serpent Swiftness increases range combat speed by 20%. And your pet's melee attack speed by 20%. Alright guys, so for mage, you're going to be going frost mage. But you also want to pick up some arcane talents. These arcane talents will help you while leveling. You know, increase your armor. You want to get arcane subtlety. Reduces your target's resistance to all your spells by 10. This is really good. Um, let's say you cast a frost bolt because you're at 10% HP. To slow a mob to get away. Let's say that frost bolt resists. Alright. And the mob just runs towards you and one hits you. You don't want that. So you want to get this. Arcane Fortitude increases your armor by an amount equal to 100% of your intellect. This will give you more armor, really good. Increases your survivability. Magic Absorption increases all resistances by 8. Let's say there's a mage mob and it's throwing fireballs at you. You're about to die and this will basically have a chance to resist one of those fireballs and save your ass. So this is really good. Improved Counter Spell. Let's say a warlock is casting fear on you, counter spell that bitch. Gives you a counter spell 100% chance to silence the target for 4 seconds. So he counter spell that fear and he can't cast anything for 4 seconds. It's crazy guys. Make sure to get this. It's so good. 
Um, then you're gonna go down, get icy veins. It's basically extra spell haste when you cast it. Shatter, this is really good. Frost Nova, somebody, and then Shadow Arm with a Frost Bolt. And free critical strike, you can't pass that one up. Cold Snap, when activated, the spell finishes the cooldown of all Frost Spells. Let's say Frost Nova, and then a Gnome Escape Artists, and gets out of that Frost Nova. Press Cold Snap, Frost Nova him again, and he can't get out of that one, can he? Winter's Chill. Gives your frost damage spells a 100% chance to apply Winter's Chill effect, which increases the chance a frost spell will critically hit the target by 2%. Really good. This also stacks up to 5 times. Ice Barrier, very good for leveling. Um, let's say you have a frost barrier, you're sitting down to eat, a rogue ambushes you. All that damage will be absorbed, alright? So you won't get a critical strike on you in one hit. Alright, guys, so for Paladin. Straight out the bat, when you hit level 10, you want to go into Holy to get this talent real quick. Increases your total strength by 10%. Really good talent to have straight off the bat. Gonna go into Protection to get Precision. Increases your chance to hit with melee weapons by 3%. Gonna go down to get Blessing of Kings also. You want to pick up this if you want. Anticipation increases your defense skill by 16%. This extra defense while leveling, you can't pass that up in my opinion. It's really good to have. Increases your survivability. Um, make sure to get improved blessing of might. Conviction increases your chance to get a critical strike with melee weapons by five percent. Really good to have. Seal of command. This is the command you'll be using a lot. Um, make sure to get that. It's really good to have. Sanctity aura. This is the aura you're going to be using while leveling. Vengeance gives you a five percent chance bonus to physical and holy damage you deal for 15 seconds talents bottle um if you don't have this talent you'll be doing really bad damage you'll be killing shit repentance let's say you accidentally pour out extra mob cast repentance on one of them they can't move for a long ass time really good fanaticism really good talent to have crusader strike this is basically your instant cast you'll be using Alright guys, so for Priest, you guys are going to be having a lot of fun while leveling as Priest. If you go this spec, you're going to be going Wand spec with Spirit Tap. This is the most efficient rate of level, you'll never go Oom. Increases your damage with Wands by 25%. While you're leveling, you're going to be using Wands a lot. Hop down here, get improved Power Word Fortitude, Inner Focus, make sure you get that. Meditation, allows 30% of your mana regeneration to continue while casting. That, paired with Spirit Tap. You guys will never go oom, um, alright? This, this is the best leveling spec, alright? Make sure to get those talents. Wand spec, meditation, and spirit tap. Those three talents are vital to this spec. Make sure you get those three guys. Shadow affinity reduces the threat generated by shadow spells by 25%. That's pretty good to have if you're in a group. You'll be pulling a lot, so you want to get that. Improve shadow word pain. You know, this is going to be a leveling from like... 1 to 40. You're going to be Shadow Word Painting people, Bubble, Wand them to death, Spirit Tap. Alright, it's so easy guys. It's so much fun. Mind Flay, Vital Talent, Vampiric Embrace, really good to have. Shadow Form, it's pretty simple. It increases your Shadow Damage by 15% on this form. Shadow Power increases the Critical Strike Chance of your Mind Blast and Shadow Word Death Spells by 15%. You guys know how big of a number that is? 15%? They'll be critting up the ass, guys. Get that. Misery, your Shadow Word Pain, Mind Flay, and Vampiric Touch spells also cause the target to take an additional 5% damage. Very good to have. Yeah, guys, this is the spec you want to go for. Priest, just copy all these talents and you will do fine, guys. This is the best leveling spec like out there, I believe. Um... Yeah guys, just follow these talents and do fine. Alright guys, so for Rogue, gonna be going combat spec. Combat is the best for leveling. Gonna be putting some points into assassination though. Straight off the bat, I'd get improved Senator Strike. Just max that out. Reduces the energy cost of your Senator Strike by 5. This is gonna be a combo point builder, so you wanna get that. Um, get improved Eviscerate. Increases the damage done by Eviscerate ability by 15%. Those are big numbers. Make sure you don't pass that up. Get Ruthlessness, gives your finishing moves a 60% chance to add a combo point to your target. Very good to have, 60% is a big number. Murder, increases all damage caused against 
humanoid, giant, beast, dragonkin, basically everything by 2%. You're going to be leveling, you're going to be killing all these kind of targets. You guys want to get that? That's 2% right there, guys. That's really good. Lethality increases the critical strike damage bonus of your signature strike, gouge, backstab, ghostly strike, mutilate, shiv, and hemorrhage abilities by 30%. Really good to have. That's 30%, guys. That's huge. Improves slice and dice. That's good to have. Precision increases your chance to hit with melee weapons by 5%. Really good, you don't be missing. Improved sprint gives a 100% chance to remove all movement impairing effects when you activate your sprint ability. Let's say you're running away from a mage, he frost bolts you. Guess what? I won't do anything with this talent. Alright, make sure to get that. Duel spec increases the damage done by your offhand weapon by 50%. Very good. Sword spec, you're gonna be using swords a lot, make sure you get that. Blade Fury, very good to have. Adrenaline Rush, instant, increases your energy regeneration, regeneration rate by 100% for 15 seconds. Use this when you're bursting down somebody, very good. This talent is too good to pass up, make sure to get that talent. Vitality, increases your total stamina by 4%, and your total agility by 2%. Extremely good. Yeah, Camera Potency. Gives your successful offhand melee attacks a 20% chance to generate 15 energy. Surprise attacks. Yeah, guys, that's the leveling spec you probably want to go for. Rogue, if you're leveling, um, it's most efficient, the best leveling spec, in my opinion. Yeah, guys. Shaman, guys, you guys want to be going to enhancement. Enhancement's the most efficient. Don't go elemental, don't go restoration, guys. Trust me. You're going to be buying a lot of drinks and shit, going oom. Um, don't do it, alright? Go enhancement. You want those big, fat, thick wind fury procs, alright? Don't go elemental, don't go restoration, go enhancement, guys. Trust me, you guys have a lot of fun and it's the most efficient. Um, however, you're gonna be putting some points in an elemental. Convection reduces the mana cost of your shock spells. Um, don't worry about the lightning bolt and fucking channel, you know, you're gonna be using that shit. Um, this is really good to have. You're gonna be casting shocks a lot, no, frost shock. Concussion increases the damage done by a lightning bolt, chain lightning, and shock spells by 5%. Like I said, you're gonna be using shock spells a lot, make sure to get that. Call of Flame increases the damage done by a fiery totems by 15%. You're gonna be using your flame totems and shit a lot before you pull mobs, make sure to get that. Elemental Focus after landing a critical strike with a fire, frost, and nature spell, you enter your clear casting state. The clear casting state reduces the mana cost of your next two damage spells by 40%. Really good to have. Elemental Devastation, this is really good to have if you're going Enhancement. Your Offensive Spell Crits increase your chance to get a Critical Strike with Melee Attacks by 9% for 10 SECONDS, GUYS! That's so good! Make sure to get that, if you don't get that, you're dumb, alright? Ancestral Knowledge increases your mana by 5%, very good talent to have, it comes in handy. Thundering Strikes improves your chance to get a Critical Strike with your Weapon Attacks by 5%. Very good to have. Improved Ghost Wolf. This makes your Ghost Wolf spell an instant cast. How crazy is that, guys? That's so good. Lightning Shield. Improved Lightning Shield. Increases the damage done by Lightning Shield by 15%. You're going to be using a Lightning Shield. So make sure you get that. Flurry increases your attack speed by 30%. Like, holy shit, dude. I might level a fucking Shaman. This is this shit's good. Improved Weapon Totems. Make sure you get that. It'll be putting down your weapon totems running in a party. Um, dual wield, very good to have. Make sure you get that. Um, you're gonna be dual wielding a lot. Storm strike, instantly attack with both weapons. So make sure you get dual wield spec for this because you have to have it for um, storm strike. In addition, the next two sources of nature damage deals to the target are increased by 20%. All right, weapon mastery, increases the damage you deal with all weapons by 10%. All right, guys. Enhancement is so good in TPC. You want to be going enhancement. Fuck elemental. Fuck restoration. All right, you guys, want to go enhancement? All right, guys. So for warlock, you're gonna be going a mix of demonology and affliction. You definitely want to go into demonology though, because while you level, you're gonna be using your pet a lot, especially your void walker. You want to get improved void walker. Increases the effectiveness of your void walker's torment, consume shadows, sacrifice, and suffering spells by 30%. Really good to have. It basically makes his taunt a lot better, so you want to get that for sure. 
Fell Intellect increases the intellect of your imp, Voidwalker, Succubus, Fell Hunter, and Fell Guard by 15%, and it also increases your mana by 3%. Your Voidwalker is going to be using Taunt a lot, using a lot of his mana, so you want to get that for sure also. Demonic Sacrifice, let's say if you pull too many mobs in accident, sacrifice your Voidwalker, whatever demon you have out, and it basically gives you a little shield, it's really good. <coughs> You also want to get improved health stone by the way. Increases the amount of health you start by health stone by 20%. You're gonna be going to affliction. Um, make sure you get amplified curse, curse of exhaustion. This is really good. Cast this on somebody that's chasing you. Um, siphon life. Shadow mastery increases the damage dealt or life drained by shadow spells by 10%. Very good. Howl of terror. This basically makes it an instant cast. It's really good. <laughs> really good talent to have. Um, improved Drain Soul is another important one. Returns 15% of your maximum mana. You're going to be using Drain Soul a lot, so you won't really want to get this. Grim Reach increases the range of your Affliction spells by 20%. Again, very good to have. And yeah, guys, just copy all these talents and you'll level really good. Alright guys, so for Warrior, you're going to be going a mix of Fury and Arms. You're mostly going to be going to Arms for Impale and Deep Wounds, but you also want Anger Management. When you hit level 10, I'd recommend to go Arms first, get these talents, and then switch over to Fury. But in Arms, you're going to get Deflection, increases your parry chance by 5%. Iron Royal, increases your chance to resist stun and charm effects by 15%. Um, let's say a Warlock Succubus, or seduces you, whatever it does. You can have a big chance to resist that. Anger management generates one rage per three seconds while in combat. A very good talent to have. Deep wounds, critical strikes, cause the opponent to bleed, dealing 60% of your melee weapons. The average damage over 12 seconds. Again, very nice. That paired with impale. Oh my god, you guys are gonna be doing fat damage with fury if you get those two talents. And Fury, get cruelty of course, blood craze, you generate 3% of your total health for 6 seconds, that's being the victim of a critical strike, very good to have. You can like heartily die as warrior when you level up. Um, improved execute, reduces the rage cost of your execute ability by 5, very good. Bloodthirst, very good also. It heals you just like with blood craze. Um, improved berserker stands, very good to have. Increases your attack bar by 10%, that's crazy. Weapon mastery pick up that oh and also actually before you go into fury make sure you guys get tactical mastery you retain up to an additional 15 of your age points when you change stances you guys are going to be stance dancing a lot so make sure to pick up this talent this is really important and yeah guys so that's the end of the video bye